Hey guys, welcome to my channel, All The Smoke. If you wanna know what my channel's about, check out my introduction video on my page. Anyway, today, let's just get straight to it. Right here, I've got some pork ribs. I wanna show you guys how I make my smoked barbecue ribs. Now, I've got really long pieces here. I'm talking six to seven inches. Um, I didn't ask them to cut it. I wanted it just straight meat. This is a really nice cut. I mean, you can cut some fat pieces off, but like they always say, this is not competition style. This is home style. Don't forget to comment and always don't forget to subscribe. Let's cook. As you see, a lot of times people will start trimming a bit of these fat pieces off. There's not really that much fat on this, if I'm honest with you. I've already patted it down on my paper towels, as you see, so it's really dry. Um, so yeah, I just want to kind of show you guys what we have to do from here in terms of we've got to cut this membrane out off. So once we take that membrane off, first thing first, we're going to add the, a, the a, a, my AP rub and then add the mustard. I use mustard as a hold. Ideally, um, it doesn't, the flavor doesn't necessarily go into the food, um, but I just make sure that I put that on to hold my seasoning. Then obviously mm. last is my barbecue rub. I've got another video on this, show you guys how I make this. This is an awesome piece. I put it on my pork, I put it on my chicken, I put it on my beef. Like it's an all-purpose rub. Okay guys, I'm back. Now I'm gonna hit it with the AP. Little bit of the AP on it. And then pretty much just go all in with the barbecue. AP rub will tenderize the meat pretty well. Um, it's heavily salt based. That's about it. Now we're getting in for the magic. Now with that, nice piece of meat there, overhead view, you can see nothing's falling off, it's all stuck on there. So we're going to let this sit for about, today we're going to do it for an hour, um, and then I'll take it outside and show you guys how, I'll kind of prepare the barbecue first and I'll take it outside and show you guys how I smoke it. Awesome. See you guys in a few bits. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how it looks just before I throw it out on the smoker. So I'm gonna go get the smoker ready. Okay guys, I told you I'm gonna come outside. Luckily it's not raining. Well, it was raining. Oh my God, it's a bit wet. Needless to say, hopefully you guys don't mind the shakiness, um, but I'm gonna do it right here in the back of my garden. I've started moving my stuff around so I don't have all my barbecues here. But the one I wanted to show you guys today with was the one that I recently bought off Amazon. Um, so I'll probably put it in the link as well But this one's for you Jamie because you actually want to know how I do these things So I'm putting it out just so that you get an idea If you guys love it, I'll keep doing this More face, less hands Let's do this I call it the smoker box but it's got three tiers At the bottom you've got the coal Above that I'm going to have my water box so That's going to sit on the top layer And then I'm going to get this And the pork's actually going to sit on top of that, the pork ribs I've got beech wood here I actually prefer cherry wood for the pork ribs but I've run out of that or oh, I just don't know where it is anyway got my chimney ready um, I've got my shredder, shredder paper in there just to kind of help the fire run this chimney helps the coal kind of burn up quick and then when it's ready I'm going to pour it into there I'm trying to do this um, spin the camera background 
Um, let me set it up for you guys and I'll be back. I've got my temperature gauge running. Wait for that to hit about 70. Um, right now we're on 39, 38. When that hits 70, um, the meat will go in and I have another probe that's going into the meat. So as you see, we're gonna have to let this come up to temp before we put the meat in and then we're good to go. So I'll be back and I'm bringing the meat back out. Let's get this meat in. Um, let's open this up. Got our thermostat set up. Got it at the meat for 18 degrees. Smokers are around 65. That will go back up once we've we'll closed the lid. This is it, guys. We wrap it up and boom. That's for you, Jamie. You've been asking. You want to see more face? I'm putting the faces in there, making sure it's less hands. But that's just process. We'll be back in about two to three hours to check on it, and then continuously after that, wrap it up, take it inside, get the barbecue sauce on it, bring it back out. It's a long process, but the flavors are awesome. Hopefully you guys love it. All right, guys, as you see, it's getting a bit darker, about three, four o'clock right now. Um, but I'm still out here smoking. It's been about three, it's been about three hours with this on. Um, started about 12, still got a while to go. I'm talking about another four or five hours potentially, but I thought I'd give you the halfway joint just to let you see where we are right now. Now, obviously it's not fully cooked. We smoked it for about four and a half hours. Um, again, low and slow. Now the next process is we're gonna wrap it. Um, we're gonna add some, some, some juice to it um, and wrap it and then just go again for another four, four and a half hours, five, depending on, on um, the temperature and how we can keep the temperature. Kind of like the ideal. I like to go around 85, essentially. But keeping it wrapped also ensures that it's gonna, you know, the, the juice that we're going to add to the to, to the to it is going to make sure it just keeps it nice moisturized um and just kind of ingest some of that flavor um, essentially i use apple juice with so just a touch of apple cider now i ran out of apple juice so i literally just had to juice some apples um a little bit of sugar um a little bit of butter and um, the barbecue rub So now next step, we're gonna get it wrapped up. And I'm gonna hit it with the AC at the base. And we're half with the butter. The other half we're gonna put on top. And we're gonna go with the sauce. And then we're gonna get a nice piece of meat. We're gonna go belly side down. Don't forget the syrup. Like I said, don't bring your diet around here. do now is do your best of getting that back in that's it around got my thermos sat back in now I'm gonna take it back outside again it's dark outside now so it's kind of irrelevant to take the camera out but there's not really much to see anyway it's just gonna be wrapped for four hours so yeah next time you guys are seeing this we're gonna be opening it up Guys, I'm excited. It's been about seven and a half hours um, doing this thing. 
We did about four and a half hours smoking it the first time around. Then we did three and a bit hours, just kind of wrapped it. You can see all the juices just dripping. I've got the thermostat still running in there. We're gonna take that out nicely. I'm excited to see how it's gonna be looking. I had not, I have not opened it. So just as you're seeing it is when I'm seeing it. I've got my little heat proof uh, gloves under so I can touch this thing without getting burnt. Oh boy, let's, uh, let's go in, let's go in. Talk to me. I'm gonna flip it on the overhead so you guys just get a nice sight of what's really going on here. My gosh, it's, you can see the bones. Look at that guys, it's just falling apart. The bones are just coming off. I'm gonna just be cheeky here and just take a taste. Oh my. Oh, just mine. Oh my gosh. I don't know where to start with this. Um, but yeah, um, I'm sure I can get it up for you guys about how the meat is just falling off. Just take a look at that. Just take a look at that for a moment, guys. This is prime pork ribs, smoked. Oh, I don't know what to say, but I'm looking forward to eating this today. Anyway, so the next step is I'm gonna move it from here and I'm gonna put it on a dry set of um, foil. Um, I'm gonna glaze it with my barbecue sauce um, and then I'm going to put it back outside for an hour um, just sitting on, on, oh, just look at that, man. It's just falling off, guys. It's just, it's just, it's just coming off. It's just coming off. That's really all I can say, it's just coming off. But yeah, um, let me flip it, change it, and then I'll show you guys how I brush it and I'll take it back outside. So I'm gonna take this outside now and sit it back on the barbecue to display. Guys, we are back, we are final. Um, I think we're there to be honest with you. Um, this is a really, it's just really falling apart. The handle is pretty nice. Um, oh, this is, this is a situation. Look at it, it's got a nice deep red, um, flavored and colored properly. As you see here, I'm going to do a little quick cut just to give you a little perspective. There you go, you can see. Got a nice red ring around here. And then you've got the, the main piece of the meat. It's looking scrumptious. I'm going to go for a taste test. Sorry guys, I've got to do this, as always. Stop it. I mean, it's just falling off the bone, guys. Um, I can give you an example here. I mean, look at that. It's just coming off. Come on. Look at that. Oh, man. This is the. No, no, no. It's just coming off. Let's give you a little perspective. Look at that. It's literally just, just falling off. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is a problem. I don't know what you're eating today, but this right here is really where we want to be at. How about that? Mm. Apologies if the sound is just the situation but this is really nice but yeah this is how it looks guys happy that you guys joined me apologies I can't cook right now oh my gosh this is good but yo guys thank you for joining uh, thank you for following the process I hope you guys loved it I want you to try this thing and give me feedback Put the comments in the chat in the, in the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. I'm trying to do what I can to make sure I share my experiences with you guys. I want to hear from you guys as well. As always, we've done it, we've cooked it. 
Hope to see you again in the next one.